Now let us see the excretion in plants. So plants do not have any well developed excretory system and they don't produce the amount of toxins as we compare to other animals and all. So here, but even then they have some kind of waste materials. We know how the gases are managed in their, in their body's plants. Oxygen and carbon dioxide, they can easily exchange with the air with the help of stomata. So they have no problem in exchanging the gases. They can release it out to the carbon dioxide or they can take the carbon dioxide. They can take the oxygen or they can produce the oxygen. So that is managed in such a way. But what about the other wastes, metabolic waste? The reactions takes place in their cells and many materials are produced. So these materials are stored in the vacuoles of this cell. Sometimes they are stored in the leaves. Wastes are stored in the leaves and seasonally or occasionally the leaves fall. Sometimes these leaves after completing their life, the leaves become yellow and dry, they fall down. So along with that leaf, the waste is sent out of the body. Sometimes some, some wastes are stored in the resins and gums. Certain plants, they secrete resins and gums, which consist of waste materials. Of course, they have some uh, commercial value uh, for these resins and gums. We find it they are useful for us, but they are the waste materials for the plant. So it throw out the waste in the form of resins and gums. Certain plants, they store their waste materials in the form of crystals called as raphides. And recently it is found that some plants, they excrete the waste materials from their roots into the soil also. So in this way they can have, they have certain various mechanism of getting rid of waste materials, but they don't have a system like kidneys and excretory system, what we have seen in case of animals. So this is how the various life processes in plants as well as in animals, how they are controlled. So the major purpose of this life processes we studied once again, we just recall it. The main purpose is that survival of the organism, maintenance and repair of the organism, growth and development of the organism. You say something is a living thing, it must have these life processes. Otherwise it is not living. A living thing must have some movements in its internal body parts. Of course, certain animals, they have external movements. Even though they don't have external movements, they have some kind of movements in their cells. Molecules flow. The molecules from outside in the form of air or oxygen, in the form of food or any other materials enter the body. So many reactions takes place. Waste is excreted. Useful materials are utilized. The organism grow, reproduce and perpetuate its race. And every time the organism's the status, the life is maintained. The body parts, when they are damaged, they are repaired. So everything is carried out by, by this life processes which we have discussed here. So those are the nutrition, respiration, transportation and excretion. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.